Zero, Mrs. Mitchells, Mrs. Kruger, faculty, staff, family, and friends to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2017. We are so thrilled you are here with us as we take our final steps with Kevin. When I sat down to write this, I was stuck wondering what in the world I could use to sum up my four years at Kevin, the place that saved me into the person I am today. Then I realized nothing better sums up my four years here than the very things that have been with me from the start. My shoes. <laughs> Most of us might have asked exactly what I'm talking about because they've kept their shoes all four years too. Going as far as duct taping the entire thing in order to keep it together. Personally, I haven't seen the soles of my shoes since the beginning of junior year and can successfully detach the entire heel from what remains of my left pain loafer. But I can never bring myself to give them away because they have limited me through all my memories at this school. Those shoes were there when I roamed the hallways on my first day, practically in tears because I found myself in the middle school building and couldn't find my way out. They took me through two volleyball practices where I forgot my shoes that day, and even walked me up on stage during our sophomore year honor ceremony, only to realize that I was not, in fact, the Kindle that had been called. <laughs> But most importantly, these shoes have taken me to what have been the best four years of my life. For a long time now, the academy has been our identity. It's been our security. It's been a place where we feel comfortable taking off our shoes the second we reach our desk. Or not brushing our hair because I need world girls here. I can honestly count on one hand how many times I've worn in high school, and I'm pretty sure all of those had something to do with the picture. We've gotten used to the sight of the issue every morning and the familiar feel of throwing on our pronounced uniform right after the end of bed. As much as we complain about the restricted motion of the skirt or the stiff feel of roll match shirts, we've all secretly loved these because it's allowed us to not be shown up by the Maria Pachatories of the world. <laughs> who always seem to have their outfit perfectly put together. Academy has been constant through us, through our rough years of graces. Or that one haircut that we just thought was the best thing on earth at the time. It unified us the moment we sang Breaking Free in our freshman retreat. When I think of the Academy, I think of the people who created a culture of independence and empowerment in this whole world's environment. It's given every one of us a sense of pride in who we are and allowed us to embrace every five of our babies. Not only have these shoes walked us through our experiences with the Academy, but they've also brought us in, into the presence of teachers who deserve all the thank yous in the world. To all of our teachers over the past four years, thank you for giving us an education that goes so much further than our textbooks. Your example of confidence and composure when dealing with our new obsession, including Harambe, Kinky, and Cecil. Our recent senioritis and our awkward singing is something that we're going to carry with us for the rest of our life. Thank you to all the, for all the life lessons we've acquired over our time here, including but not limited to do. Mrs. Chase's reminder that this is not a democracy, it's a chase democracy. <laughs> or her instruction to always keep a little sparkle in our lives. Mrs. Carney's advice to never invade Russia in the winter, in the off chance that one of us becomes a dictator. <laughs> Mrs. Mixon's advice to find out a way. Originally meant for math problems that can be applied to all aspects of life. And this is very good suggestion that nothing good happens after 5 o'clock on the night. We all want to miss everything we have to offer, but we'll be too far away. Because as soon as we get home from this, not to sound stoppers, but we will find on all social media platforms possible. Also to my parents and all the parents here tonight, thank you for everything you do for us. I know personally that me and my mom drive up countless of times to school to drop off money or some form that I got that day to find my and go my backpack. But I found feeling love and support we never would have made it this far. Or got to the chance to attend the first place. I know we don't say this enough, 
but we really love you and honestly you can't even imagine what it will be like without you next year. And lastly, to my brothers and all the siblings in the room, we really appreciate everything you've done for us. From having our backs against anyone who treats us wrong, to giving us that last piece of ice cream at the table. As much as we may not like to admit this, you really will be my sister. Finally, to my fellow graduates, all 110 of us, I'm so proud of us. We are the most spirited group of people I've ever met. Even though most of the noise can be credited to Ashley, it still counts. We've completely mastered that cooperative, competitive attitude most schools wish for. Where we all push each other to do our best through shared study guides, group study sessions, but not at the expense of the person sitting next to us. I honestly don't know if you won't be able to play in a 110 person game of March Madness next year, even though 95% of us have no idea what's going on. Or be around a group of people where eating cookies, eating five cookies in a matter of 10 minutes is completely socially acceptable. I will miss so much letting off my steam and the stressful day to see my lunch. They go on that day and watching every single second of it on Camille's Snapchat story. <laughs> I don't know another school where, as Maggie Chelsea beautifully put it, we can recognize each person in our class not by their voice, not by their hair, but by their sneeze. <laughs> as we prepare to step out of this comfort zone, I would love to see something inspirational about the future. Something that leads to a with confidence that we know exactly what we're doing where we're going. But the truth is an absolute terrifying. The one thing that calms me as I think about going into the future is knowing that I can go to any one of these girls standing behind me at any point in my life and they would be there for me. No matter if it was if I don't had one conversation with them over the past four years or never stopped talking to them. No matter where we are in 10 or even 50 years, we will look back at this time, maybe even look back on our shoes that I know I'm keeping. And what are my stories at? This is the last time we will all be together. Take a look around each other. Take a picture in your mind, because I promise you, we have something really special here. So stay ready for one of these final moments. I believe this will give us strength as we go into the world, because this all calls high school experience is unique and empowering. Each of our shoes that we take our own steps in tells a unique story about our personal experience with Kathy. But the one common ground that we all have is the place that led us to wearing penny loafers in the first place. Culturally, I know new shoes are supposed to be dandy, supposed to be valuable and exciting, something that everybody wants. But here we have a tradition of spray painting our shoes gold after we finish school. And we like to think it's because we recognize the value that they hold after four years, full of memories and successes, is far greater than the value that they can hold getting any new shoes. I'm so blessed to be part of a pretty amazing group of girls. So here's the class of 2017. My personal opinion, best class I've ever walked through.